Hello everyone, I hope everyone having a very good day. Jahan Trower is here. Today we are in the Manchester, Old Home Road. Manchester is a, one of the greatest place for food lovers. And in Old Home Road, it's a Vietnamese restaurant. We are going to test some delicious Vietnamese food. This restaurant, they are well known for Vietnamese food. Let's go in and try some delicious Vietnamese food. restaurant absolutely atmosphere is so good and the people are so friendly and uh, she was here and explained the, all the dishes absolutely best place to come and test uh, some delicious uh, Vietnamese uh, food and uh, the restaurant name is uh, Phu P-H-O and uh, the menu is so good and uh, there is a lot of and dishes, seafood and the beef and the chicken and the vegetarian. They are so lovely and so nice. And we are going to test the five or six delicious authentic Vietnamese food. I spoke with them and they are allowing us to go in the kitchen and watch how they cooking. I'm so excited to go in the kitchen and watch how they working in the kitchen. So delicious food, amazing people and the best spot. Well, I'm so excited and now I'm just walking in the kitchen to watch how chef is working in the kitchen. That's absolutely so good. Delicious smell, aroma of the fresh vegetable and the chicken. It's so good, absolutely amazing. Now chef is just uh, frying your noodles. Wow, with the fresh uh, vegetable and uh, noodles and chicken. Amazing, amazing. So nice to watch how he's working. Really professional and uh, so good.
Nice, flashy goods. Wow, amazing. He just uh, fried the uh, garlic. Wow. And then he added the goat. Absolutely amazing to watch how he's working. So delicious. The smell aroma of the goat meat. So good. And he added some Vietnam spice. fresh vegetable and the goat meat beautiful wow Beautiful, amazing. Okay, we got uh, some delicious uh, Vietnamese food. Absolutely amazing. And uh, I was in the kitchen and I watched how chef working very hard. Absolutely, it was so nice to watch him to work and make uh, some delicious Vietnamese food. So amazing food and the smell aroma of the beef and the chicken and some nice uh, fresh uh, vegetable so delicious so I am excited to be in here and test uh, this delicious uh, food and now we starting with the Vietnamese barbecue look at this dish it's amazing First they barbecued and then marinated inside the special chef made the sauce and the side we have a rice noodle so nice so good and chili dip and some fresh vegetable so good to be in here and taste this delicious food aroma of the beef and noodles is so good look at this beef is a barbecued and marinated beef and with uh, some sesame seeds mm. wow so juicy so tender and full of flavor amazing the sesame is it gave a nice flavor and the beef is so tender and so juicy wow that's so delicious look at the juice and the beef is so nice with the sesame seed So delicious and juicy I really love it full of flavor and so nice and now eat it with the rice noodle rice noodle and some beef The rice noodle, it's very soft and a little bit sticky. The beef is so tender and so juicy. Absolutely very good combination. Soft and tender. So delicious. And now we use some delicious beef. Just drop it inside the chili dip. Mmm, really spicy 
and when you put in the this dip, absolutely so delicious, and the flavor is just a jump up, amazing. And now it's just a rice noodle. The rice noodle, I really like it. Amazing. And uh, some beef. Mm. Beautiful combination. Rice noodle is very nice. But there is no flavor in the rice noodle. It's just uh, soft. There is no flavor. And when you eat with the beef, and the beef is full of flavor and juicy. Just to mix it. And some salad. And some salad. And beef. Mm. Oh yeah, the salad, a little bit sweet and the crunchy and the rice noodle is very soft and beef is so tender, amazing and we have a, a Vietnami baguette, it's so nice. It's a fresh made baguette. Every day they're making fresh baguette and the beef and uh, some fresh vegetable, carrots and uh, cucumber and uh, some uh, coriander. Look at this one, so juicy. Mm. Oh yeah. A vegetable is a pickled vegetable. They are sweet and so nice. And the buckets are very fresh and crunchy and soft. Amazing. So delicious. And a little bit sweet because of the pickled vegetable. And the beef is so tender and so juicy. Mm. Pickled vegetable and the fresh bucket and the beef. It's so good. I really like it. The bucket is very fresh and so delicious. Amazing. Okay, now we're coming to stir fry it, the flat noodles. So beautiful dish. Flat noodles. Look at this. So nice and stretchy and some vegetable and the chicken. I was in the kitchen and I watched how he made this beautiful dish. First he fried the garlic and oil and then he boiled the vegetable and cooked the chicken. Absolutely was amazing and he was so professional. The aroma of the chicken and fresh vegetable was so nice and now we just uh, that's the flat noodles. Look at this one. It's so good, so stretchy. And some chicken. Mm. Wow, the noodle is so tasty and it's so nice and the chicken is very tender and now it's just uh, some vegetable and the chicken and the flat noodle mm.
Yeah. It's just a little bit garlicky, very crunchy. It's vegetable give a nice uh, crunch. And the flat noodle is soft and full of flavor. It's a little bit different than the rice noodle. Rice noodle, there is uh, no flavor. That flat noodle is absolutely full of flavor. And it's a little bit garlicky, but it's not overflow garlic. Absolutely, it's so good combination. Mm. Amazing noodle. So tasty. And soft and full of flavor. That's that. Fresh cooked uh, vegetables. Mm. So crunchy. And tasty. Amazing. I really love that vegetable. You are so healthy. I'm nice. That's a beautiful dish. I really like it. Vegetable and chicken and nice flat noodles, flat noodles and uh, some chicken and vegetable. Mm. Absolutely, it's full of flavor. Combination is so beautiful and it's cooked very nice. And really, he know how to cook a Vietnamese food. And he's so professional and they cook everything fresh. And now we're coming to a fried goat's meat. And the aroma of the goat's meat was so nice. Absolutely so good. First he fried the garlic and then he added the goat's meat and then he fried it again and then added the fresh vegetable. Absolutely was so good to watch how he worked. He's so professional. Mm. Oh yeah. Goat's meat is very tasty and juicy. And the vegetable, which gave a nice crunch. It's a little bit soury. And the season is it, it gave a nice flavor. Amazing combination. I really like it. Look at this. Season is it, and the fresh vegetable, and the fried goats. Mm. That's my favorite. It's so delicious and combination. It's so nice combination. Crunchy and uh, tender. Amazing. It's uh, full of flavor. Season is set and the vegetable is a little bit spicy and savory. So good. Really good. And uh, some more. Look at this. So flavorful and the cook too very good. Amazing. Amazing dish. When you mix up a fresh vegetable with fried um, meat, absolutely this gave a nice uh, texture. Crunchy and uh, tender. You are so delicious. And the sesame is sweet. Look at this one. The sesame is it. It gave a nice sesame flavor and some crunchy vegetable and the tender goat's meat. Mm. Beautiful. So tasty and juicy. Amazing. Atmosphere. Absolutely. It's so good and so friendly people in here and the chef and manager and waiters they all very good and they came and explained all the dishes 
really they are so friendly and so kind people and the best spot to come here to try some delicious Vietnamese food and it's just the old home road in Manchester and it's so close to Manchester city center uh, so I am glad to be in here and test some delicious food okay now we're coming to bamboo and the dark vermicelli soup this soup is amazing look at this one it's a top fat and the duck meat and the noodles look at the noodles they are so good and the shredded bamboo so beautiful dish I smell aroma of the bamboo it's so nice and it's so delicious and here are the dark meat that's a dark meat and inside the nice flavorful juice Duck meat is um, so flavorful and a little bit crunchy because of the fat and amazing is a tender mm, nice now we eat some noodles and the bamboo look at this one the bamboo mm. amazing and the flavor of the bamboo it's so nice it's flavorful and a little bit crunchy and it's soft absolutely it's so good look at this one it's a bamboo and the chili and some coriander a bit right with the dark meat and some dark meat and the bamboo It's so nice. The flavor, a little bit crunchy and nice and a little bit sweet. And the chili, when it's come to the chili, chili it's make a more flavor. And the noodle is very really soft. Now we try the juice. Look at the juice. It's so good. It's so nice, it's full of flavor. A little bit oily and a little bit sweet and uh, so tasty. Amazing, I like it. Look at this one. The flavor of the bamboo, it gave a nice sweet. Mm, so nice. Look at the noodle. Noodle is so good bamboo some bamboo mm. very good flavor and bamboo this is amazing this is my first time I eat a bamboo mixture of the flavor with the crunchy and the sweet and the uh, hot is spicy and the soft very good dish and we have a sprout we have to add it over here and some mint and some chili and uh, lime i think the lime gave a nice savory taste that's good I really love the chili. Chili is so good. <laughs> chili is very hot. Yeah, very, very hot. Mm. So nice.
now it's a little bit soury on the the mint it's give a nice minty flavor mm, very nice combination amazing dish with the crunchy and the soft and the so delicious and juicy i really like the juiciness it's so good and uh, always you can use the juice amazing so nice and the flavor of the bamboo is a little bit sweet and the lime give a savory and hot spicy and crunchy amazing very good food amazing vietnamese food i really love it and the atmosphere was a very good atmosphere and a very good spot to come and to try some delicious and rich Vietnamese food. I really love all the dishes. So nice and so tasty and so juicy. If I want to pick my favorite meal today, I will go with the roasted goats. It was so nice and tender and the vegetable was so uh, crunchy, so delicious. And I hope you liked my video. If you like it, please just uh, give me a thumbs up and leave me comments below or if you haven't subscribed yet just subscribe and then if you want to see our next video just press the bell icon if you press the bell icon definitely you will see our next video i hope see you all in my next video